Hey guys, it's Laura Lee, and it's time for Genlock. I'm way behind the crowd on this one. Um, not behind on like, as I've been on some other things, but uh, Genlock came out, not to date when I'm recording this, but it came out a week ago, and I still haven't gotten around to reacting to it. Um, part of that is because uh, the last Ruby reaction I put out kind of a uh, the response I got from that kind of put me off reacting for a little bit. Didn't really want to be on camera for a while, um, but <laughs> yeah. And then I had other stuff happening throughout the week and it's just been, it's been a time of it. <laughs> I'm finally um, got some time to sit down and watch it. Whew, this has been like such a hyped show, which like probably deserves it, considering some of the big name stars that Rooster Teeth has managed to garner for this show. I mean, like, it was big enough when they announced that Michael B. Jordan was, um, the main character, but then they just kept announcing more and more people. That We've got, um, Monica Rial, that we've got Dakota Fanning, that we've got Maisie Williams, we have David Tennant, who is, like, my, my favorite. <laughs> Ten was my doctor for Doctor Who, so... Um, looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I really don't know a whole lot about Genlock. Um, I specifically avoided extra stuff. Um, I watched the official trailer they put out and I watched the official first look scene that they put out. And then I've seen like the little clips that are in front of like every Ruby episode or whatever. But, um, I haven't watched all of like the little character trailers they put out. I haven't watched any of that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to go into this as blind as possible since I really have no idea what I'm getting into. Uh, the only um, mech anime I've really watched is um, 10, 12 episodes into Code Geass. Um, so not that far into it. So it's a, it's a genre I haven't quite broached yet. I'm still very much uh, a baby otaku <laughs> so I haven't really branched out in that yet um so I'm hoping that Jinlock can kind of be like my entrance into it kind of like Ruby was my uh kickstarter for anime in general but yeah so I went I'm going into this completely blind and yeah I I don't really have anything else to say so we should probably just watch it yeah and by the way this um Genlock is a first only show, um, so if you can, please go get a first membership to watch the show or try out your first month for free. Um, I have been a first member for a few years now and like for me it's totally worth it because I watch a lot of Rooster Teeth content. Yeah, I really want you guys to go support Genlock because the only way they can keep it going at this scale is if they get the views that they need, and um, it is only on their website, but um, the first episode is available for everyone on their website, so please go give that a view as well as my reaction, because, um, yeah, really want to help them out. So. I enjoy the jazz. <laughs> well, one of my favorites, though, is when Julian is about, oh, four years old. He comes in crying about his banged up knee. You would have thought that the world was ending the way he's carrying on. <laughs> now, I'm the type of mom. There's nothing that a little loving from the oven can't help. So I give him a fresh cookie and tell him it'll make his knee feel better. Ma. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I give him the cookie and bless his little heart. He proceeds to rub it right on his knee. Ma. <laughs> Ma, it's not doing anything. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. So many little details in just this first scene. <laughs> it was my dad's favorite song. Oh, Julian, cut me some slack. News these days, gotta have my fun somewhere. Dree! Oh, 
Damn, Ma, you are killing me with this. You're always welcome to come home and eat with us. You know how hardcore they're getting about leave these days. Mm-hmm. Miss Chase, that looks amazing. Well, thank you. Dream now! <laughs> Oh, she's playing a video game. <laughs> Full K-pop. <laughs> They're taking care of you two okay down here. You look like you could use a good meal. If we had food this nice at the base, we wouldn't fit in our uniforms. <laughs> Come meet Miranda, honey. But my adoring fans, Ma! Adoring fans? They adore your grades this semester? Or do you get extra credit for live streaming? Exactly what <laughs> you see in him. Sometimes I ask myself the same Actually, thing. let's talk about you. So, where are you from? Where do you see yourself in five years? And would you have a problem with letting your adorable sister-in-law stay with you whenever she wants? Wait, what? <laughs> well, that presumes I'd ever want to marry him. Wait, what? But it's not out of the question. <laughs> Uh, See my set up there? You're welcome. One normal visit. Just one. That's all I want. I'm not talking much, but I'm just taking it in. Alliances. We should let you eat. Miss Chase, Driana, wonderful to meet you. I know. Likewise, dear. Mm -hmm. Next time you two have a leave, let's do this for real. And then we'll really gang up on him. Deal. Oh. Night all. Hologram. She's too good for you. Oh, I know. I like her. I like seeing you <laughs> smile. Been too long. Now go, or she's going to wonder if we're talking about her. We are talking about her? All right, I'm out. I'll see here this weekend, all right? Love you. Love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a great sibling relationship right there. <laughs> From their self-defeating path of huh? Oof. I love the eye technology. Kinda reminds me of um the ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. Did I pass? Flying colors. What do I win? Me. <laughs> so you had fun? Mm-hmm. Good. So for the next one of these, I look forward to your mom telling me all your embarrassing stories. Hey, 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 that's not how this works. <laughs> my boy is alone, huh? Told you that crash and burn. You got a wrench that'll fix my dignity? Slumming with us lowly walkers? Oh man, how Icarus has fallen. Hi, Gray. Hey, if Miranda dumped you, do we got time for a game of Siege? Hey, if uh, Miranda dumped you, then... Then what? Hey, Chad. Then uh, that would be tragic, and we should mourn the death of your relationship from a respectable distance. Smart boy. What's this about a game? Siege! Sorry, fellas. My queen summons me. So, no Siege? See that? <laughs> Said no to gaming with the boys. I love hearing the Rooster Teeth voice cook? actors <laughs> next to, you know, what the you big Hollywood of? voice Me, actors. You Nowhere know, in about 30. They haven't ordered us to stop yet. My girl. Mm. Come on, be a drill. How'd the song go? You only live but once? Let the good times roll. <laughs> Aww. 
I also love that this episode is called the pilot, kind of playing on the pilot of a series, but also um, because Julian's a pilot, I believe. <laughs> Those are some clunky mix. Man, this all feels like very Star Wars to me. <laughs> like, the Rebellion. Which I am A-OK -okay with. <laughs> is so good. Just the way you could see the images of the outside room refracted in the light on the windows. Listen up. That was incredible. The union's making their play. This is not a skirmish. This is not airspace confusion. This is not a terrorist action. This is how the war begins. Interceptors continue your vector east-northeast. Destination is New York. Oh no! Multiple large bogies detected. All forces are weapons free. Be aware caps from other bases have already started to engage, but to no effect. We're detecting some sort of anomaly over the area. Could be biohazard, could be something else. That means until we know more, containment protocols apply. Sending unit specific priorities now. Oh. Interceptors are busted to target. Damn it, Chase, form up. Hey, Lindsay Jones. <laughs> we did not seek this conflict, but we will rise to meet it. The Vanguard will do everything we can to protect those who have put their trust in us. Dude, this is so good. We will get through this. The speech. So good. so bad that I'm not talking so much during this, but like Chaser has spikes at six o'clock. The coin counter measure. This is the first episode I feel like I've really gotta take it all in. Dang the detail animation rate had to go into this. feels so new and different, but it also still feels very Rooster Teeth, and I love it so much! This is, like, perfect. Ooh! Oh! Man, there's a big explosion. That's ominous looking. like the way he was dragged back screaming like that. Oh, so they've got like people who are loyal. Aww. I took the baby. <laughs> no. Oh. <sighs> Oh, kid, it's nanotech. The union 
Nanotech. What the hell? Okay, Vanguard. Nanohazard protocols in effect. Go ahead and seal up your striders. They're starting the series with a battle in New York City. That's where most movies end Come up. <laughs> By the sea wall. I think I lost mine. Oh, scratch that. Statue of Liberty for scale. <laughs> mm. Oh, and we've destroyed the Statue of Liberty. how it goes. That is so cool looking and so creepy looking. and that's so cool. It's like an organism. It's a really awesome design. There's new smoke headed east. Able off Razzle. Permission to fire up an ESD. Razzle off. Use of threat pulse weaponry is authorized. Only target the nanotech. You must not damage air traffic. Okay, Jay. We each got one of these. Set yield for low inductance. Stay on me. We're going to Brooklyn. It's Hail Mary time. Copy that. Cover me. Going in!
Right, that's it. All teams begin tactical retrograde procedures. Cover civilian transports as long as you can, then get out of there. Evac, evac, evac. Ambulance, chaser. Colonel, I still got my ESD. Negative, chaser. Pull back to the transports and provide escort. Hi. Copy that. Chaser out. Ugh. Yeah, that did not go well. A wing. He better have ejected. Chase. Chase. Don't worry, honey. He's okay. He's got some massive plot armor. Four years? Didn't see that? Whoa! No, wait. Like... Ooh. She's been through some shit. I did not expect a four year time you know skip. I'll be scene, honest. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know it has to work, right? I will let you down. Hey, don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't answer that. <laughs> Is that Miles? You no, know it has to work, right? Morning, sunshine. You got time for some uh, coffee before rounds? Good morning to you, too. And no. Apparently, I've earned the distinct privilege of babysitting some rookies. <sighs> Lucky them. I would have given anything for a babysitter like you when I was a kid. Our babysitter was old Mrs. Langerheitrich. Ugh. What kind of crush is a 13 year old supposed to have on that? 13? <laughs> Look, in my defense. Just bug out, will you? I have to be respectable. Dr. 
Dr. Weller, I presume. Welcome to the Anvil. I'm Lieutenant Worth. I'm assigned... Yes, charmed. Dr. Rufus Weller, ESU. Yeah, no colonel. I'm sure she's looking forward to welcoming you. Matter of fact, we have a briefing with her coming up. But as I said, I'll be... Uh, no time like the present. Take me to your leader. Always wanted to say that, right? <laughs> okay, then we'll just do a tour on the way. Oh, you said the same you thing in Dr. Gear, you need to Oh, just a few things. I'm so happy David Tennant's in this. Like, I'm okay, so happy with... Okay, I've areas to your maps. All and of these characters put it in the If you need anything, up here is mission briefing, which should be about to start. Any questions? How are you? Excuse me? If you don't mind my asking, I'm very curious about the state of your battalion, what you've managed to do. It's one of the reasons we're here. We're a research team trying to come up to speed on how you fight, what works, what doesn't. Hmm. What we've managed to do is hold a line. That's about it. You are the shield. Without you, all hope would have already been lost. Perhaps you just need a better sword. Sorry, we didn't get introduced. Miranda Worth. I've heard much about you. Oh, curse my manners. <laughs> this is Miss Madrani, also a pilot. Really? Righto, in we go. <laughs> Hmm. Odd tension there. So, what do you fly? I didn't see any... I don't think she flies. This mission has been designated Operation Coyote, with the Union accelerating their push west in recent months. There's been an increase in the number of refugees heading our way. Recon has confirmed a new stop on the Underground Railroad, closer to us than ever before. Nearly 30 men, women, and children are just a few miles the other side of the Eddie. They've taken great risks, sacrificed much in order to make their exodus from Union territory. We're going to get them the rest of the way home. One last thing. We've got guests watching today, so be on your best behavior. Be safe, <laughs> but not too safe. Get it done, Vanguard. Another border run. This'll go well. Try to stay positive. Okay, with the border getting closer every day, at least it's a shorter commute. This area's as good as it gets. <laughs> Most city's just an empty space in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, they will literally see us coming miles away. Do you have any idea what it took for these people to make it this far? Oh, for the love of shut up, both of you. It's game on. <laughs> I'm happy the Grace voice acting again. He does some great voice acting. Rainbow Pot, Rainbow One moving in for pickup. Oh, that didn't go well. Go. Ah, okay, lucky shot. Ah. 
Oof. I keep saying oof lately, and I don't know why. Good times roll, am I right? What? insane. in those mechs. Lieutenant, if you would please... No way those were drones. What were those? Who was that? The Union ambush has certainly made this more awkward than it needed to be. But I think now would be a good time to welcome to the Vanguard the Experimental Science Unit. They'll be staying with us for a little while, so everyone be nice. And take a deep breath. This is going to take some explaining. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she's standing. I want to sit down for this one, hun. Yeah, he's a. Hey, gang. What did I miss? Hologram. intro yet. some interesting little tidbits in there. Oh. I'm trying to 
trying to piece together what to say because that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot and I still don't know a whole lot about what's going on so I don't feel like I have a good basis to analyze a whole lot of it. I will say that this is just visually incredible. Like, every time I think Rooster Teeth can't get more impressive, they do. And this has just blown it out of the water. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Ruby. I love Ruby's style of animation. Ruby will always be the number one everything in my heart, as you can tell by literally everything about me. But... <laughs> animation on this is just incredible and like I said um I just it has it's so new it's so different to things I did before but it's still so undeniably rooster teeth in the animation and the writing and it's like I said it's so cool to see these massive stars Michael B. Jordan, Dakota Fanning, David Tennant next to Rooster Teeth people that I've been watching online for years now and just seeing that come together it's incredible and I just oh, I don't have a whole lot of words man so they started out this series like I said where most movies end which is a huge battle in New York City destroying national monuments like first episode we took out the statue of liberty which that was just great framing just like like i said statue of liberty to scale i did not expect julian to possibly die there there were some little things in the um intro that give me little hints possibly as to what's going on there but uh, I did not, I knew because in the, in the first look that they released, the clip of um, some of the other pilots arriving and coming together, um, Julian, I noticed, was a hologram and I thought, well, that's kind of weird. And then at the beginning of this one, they showed him and Miranda going home to his family. They were holographically visiting them. So I was like, oh, maybe that's what he's doing, but why would he do that and like, the military base, but, ah, oh, no, uh, that's, a, it's a little bit more than that. Like, he cannot physically be there. I really did not expect that four-year time skip. Like, I thought we were just gonna dive straight in, but no, that was, like, in the past. Here we are now. And the world building on this is so good. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they're like not explaining everything in the first episode. We're just dropped straight to this world where um, the bad guys, the Union, are taking over um, the US. They've already breached the Midwest, which, oof, not good for me. But <laughs> they're trying to take over. They have people who are loyal to them among the citizens. That was a cool little thing when the guy held up the. Uh, symbol and they knew to leave them alone. They're using nanotech, which I, I, I never thought of like nanotech being deadly in that way, which I don't know why I didn't, but that's how they used that was really cool in that first sequence. But they introduced the nanotech, they introduced the big clunky mix they used before, the ships they were piloting were just so rad and impressive and I really loved that. Like I said, it was giving me like such a big Star Wars vibe. Um, especially in the hangar, it just felt like this is like the glory days of Star Wars. Like straight up, like near the end of A New Hope. Like that's what I felt watching that. and. I grew up on Star Wars. I was born into Star Wars, so, uh, you know, that's good. That's a big milestone in getting me hyped about this show. And now they've introduced the new mechs, which is the Genlock program, I assume. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to more David Tennant. I'm so happy that, because I had seen, um, 
because it's been a week this, since it's been out and I haven't been able to watch it, um, I had seen some stuff on Twitter like, oh, there are like kind of little Doctor Who Easter eggs in there and him saying, uh, take me to your leader. I'd seen that they hadn't planned that to be a thing, but it is a thing. And I just, I just love that so much. <sighs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I don't have a whole lot to say with this because this was very, just dropping us into the world. And I wonder if anyone else had this problem or if it's just me that can't find things to say <laughs> about the first episode. Uh, I'm gonna have to go watch other people's reactions, but they're off to a roaring start. Like, they've got everything. They've got the action, they've got the visuals, they've got the characters, they've already got the heartbreak in there, and yeah, this is gonna be amazing. And I, I'm also so excited that I'm going to RTX this year because uh, this is gonna be like the first RTX that's really gonna have Genlock as a presence. Last year they had the mega animation panel where they announced things. Like I think that was the where they announced David Tennant being in it. But um, I didn't get to go to that because they scheduled it as a night panel and I had already gotten tickets for theater mode live, which was this the same time. So I didn't get to <laughs> go to that panel, but I'm sure that Genlock is gonna have a much, much bigger presence at RTX this year and it's gonna be cool to be there to experience that, so yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching along with me. As I said before, please, please try out a first account if you can um, to go watch Genlock or at least go watch the first episode on their site if you haven't, which if you haven't, why are you even watching this, really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Rooster Teeth site is super user-friendly. Like, it used to be a complete mess, but um, they've updated it and it's so good and there's really no reason for people to not go over to the Rooster Teeth site and watch things. Same with Ruby. People were complaining that it wasn't on YouTube and I'm like, oh, well, the five, I'm like the 20 seconds you took to type out this comment to complain about it, you could have just as easily typed in Rooster Teeth into the search bar, opened it, and played Ruby for free. So, like, yeah. But, um, Genlock is a first show. I don't know if they ever plan on taking it out from behind that paywall. For now it is first, so I encourage you all to try out your trial if you haven't. Um, because I love Rooster Teeth and I love what they do. And um, I, re I really want them to be able to continue doing this kind of stuff because this is insane. So. Thank you guys for watching. Links as always are in the description, Discord, Patreon, P.O. Box, all that good social media stuff. Uh, and I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.